Potty training your boxer can sometimes be really challenging, but it's incredibly important. So today we're gonna to teach you how to do that. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boxer Show. My name's Joe and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. We are dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the boxer and then how to become a high level canine leader so you can raise your very own boxer. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload. If you're not really sure where to start with potty training your boxer, well, don't worry about it because today we're going to be tuning into a webinar that the CEO and founder of FenrirK9Leaders.com, Will, has recorded all about potty training your boxer and how to do that. So there's no need to worry anymore. Why don't you just watch this webinar and learn how to do it? So then guys, welcome back to this quick fire webinar about potty training. Now potty training is one of those things that obviously every single dog owner, especially if you're starting with a young puppy, absolutely has to go through. Now we put that as part of our manners process. If you've seen our perfect puppy course, you might know that we break everything down into manners, socialization and obedience. And for me, potty training is one of the first really easy wins that an owner can get within the realm of manners. And it's one of those things that I think far too too many people overcomplicate, and it's one of those things that it's just about keeping it simple. Break it down, plan, 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 keep it simple. What I like about toilet training is it's one of those things that we can, and I'm gonna break down how I go about teaching clients to do it, or how about go when I'm helping uh, people get into the profession, how I think they should go about doing it. And you'll know that I always talk about that we have a micro behavior, a micro issue that we're trying to solve or a micro trick that we're trying to teach. Excellent, we can narrow down on that micro issue, but is there an opportunity to teach things on a higher macro level? And I think that potty training is one of the first examples of this. Now from the micro, we need to teach a dog to not go number one or two inside and to do it where they should do. That's the micro issue. But what I love about my routine of teaching potty training is not only is it just incredibly successful at getting the job done really quickly, but it really helps with the macro picture of calm, consistent leadership and focusing on the consistency element of what it takes to be an excellent canine leader. So when you bring your new eight-week puppy home or your owners bring the new eight-week puppy home, the way we do it is really simple. On the hour, every hour, when the puppy wakes up, after they've had a drink or something to eat. You can set that as an alarm, but you wanna make it structured and routine. I always talk about routine, boundaries, structure, expectations is incredibly important for canine ownership. And this is where I say that it's an opportunity to help with the mindset of being a good dog owner at that macro level by about instilling that principle of structure and routine. So on the hour, every hour, when the dogs just woke up from a nap or after they've eaten or drunk. Take them out to their designated place. When they go number one or number two, praise positive reinforcement. It really is simple. If you do that every single time, you will make sure that your dog never has an accident in the house. They will very, very quickly learn where they're supposed to go and that it's one of the world's most incredible things when they do that. That is how so many of the owners that follow our programs are able to raise a puppy with having zero potty incidents in the home, but it's just about discipline, routine, and structure, but keep it simple. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Afferton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me that's the place for you so there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there one thing that we then go on about that is uh, it's a good opportunity to teach our owners that if the dog makes a mistake, it was the owner's fault, not the dog's fault. They missed a cue. They weren't being observant enough. They weren't being disciplined, routined, or structured enough. They missed something so that it's their fault, not the dog's fault. So rather than getting angry and punishing the dog, they need to clean it up as calmly as possible, remove the scent, because if we leave any of the smell down, canine psychology, they like to go on the same thing. So if they can smell it, they'll do it again. So we clean it really thoroughly, make sure we remove any scent, 
And then we go back to basics, regiment, discipline, routine. Then as the dog gets older, you don't have to go on the hour, you can go on every other hour. And as you start to learn the dog's habits and routines and you're feeding them at the same time every time and you're not leaving the food down, which you should never do anyway, the dog will start to have a routine in terms of when they go number one and when they go number two. And you can start planning and structuring around that routine, which builds structure, builds routine, builds high expectations, builds leadership and relationship with your dog and sets you and the dog up for extremely high levels of success on that macro level that's the most important part by focusing in and teaching some skills on the micro level that is potty training so again it isn't rocket science guys keep it simple but stay calm if there's any accidents it's your fault not the dog so step back readdress and then put a better plan in place so that that accident doesn't happen again. Set them up for success and then highly praise and reinforce that success. And you with your puppy or your clients and their puppies will be have their mind blown about how incredibly easy it was to potty train their dog. Something that so many people make it far more complicated than it needs to be. Keep it simple, keep it disciplined, keep it routine, structured, calm, consistent leadership, wins above everything else. So I hope you enjoyed that quick fire webinar. Let's move on to the next one. There you have it, guys. Potty training your boxer should now be simple because you've got all the tools to do it. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you get involved in the comments down below as we would love to hear all about your boxer and how your training's going. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a future upload as we have two dedicated videos coming here every single week, so I would hate for you to miss out. I can't wait to see you in the next episode of the Fenrir Boxer Show.